T2, T3 down to about T8. In this region, it can get very painful and it can radiate also to the front as well. It can come through. It can also sit in this region as well through here. Very, very annoying and very, very chronic. A lot of people who message me or talk to me and the people I'm talking here as well, try to get in there with trigger balls and tools and really try to, you know, get in there and dig in as hard as they can and try and really get to that pain that sits in here. My suggestion with that is stop. Also, painful massage. If you're getting lots of deep tissue massage, even though it's good for it, massage is good, don't get me wrong, but the painful version is a no-go. Stop getting deep tissue, but rather stick to more stretchy myofascial. So we'll talk about it in a moment. So stop trigger balling really painfully and stop deep tissue really painfully. The key word being pain because when nerve locks sit in this area and that's the cause of the pain, it can radiate up into the traps. The traps can re radiate it back down. If you've got nerve locks sitting in there too, it radiates back down here. It can cause pain down your arm and into the front of your chest right here. So stop trigger balling painfully and stop painful massages. Instead, do the following. The first one, look after your traps. So you've seen me do a video where I'm resting my arm on a chair, on an edge, on a table, it's comfortable. Grab the trap with your opposite hand. You shorten the trap, pull the ear down, the shoulder comes up and you're relaxing into it. You're softening the muscle and shortening it like so. And just relax into it. One minute with deep breathing. When you come out of it, wow, so much nicer. That trap can help this pain. Two, stretch out under your armpits. So you've seen me do lots of videos where my arm's up on the wall like this. I'm wrapping my arm on top like this, stretching my armpits a lot with deep breathing like this. Under the armpits for your lats, even your pecs. You've seen me do the pec video where I'm stretching out my chest muscles. I like to keep my palms facing upwards and feel my chest open up and stretch. Stretch under the arms and stretch your pecs, your chest region here. That decompresses this region here, if that makes sense. So that one and that one. I would be stretching without pain up to five times a day. If you're chronically suffering this, it's debilitating. This one can last months and years, it's crazy. Five times a day, try that out, and 10 to 20 seconds. Okay, trigger balling. If you're gonna trigger ball into this area, I like to do it up against the wall and not on the floor, and I can control my body weight better. My arms are crossed over, and I can just find the spot, there it is, and I keep my pain levels below four out of 10 while I'm here, and just chill. Find a spot, hold one spot, hold one spot for one minute. That's it, try not to roll around. Hold it for one minute with deep breathing, and feel like you're breathing into the ball. And you'll find, wow, the pain disappears in one minute. Then find another one and go another minute. And you'll find, oh wow, the pain disappears in one minute. Find a third and the same. Only do three points per day. Try not to do more, if that makes sense. That's a trigger ball. And finally, massage. Keep stretchy, flushy massage rather than deep tissue. So more stretchy, flushy massage, and do your traps as well. Do your lats, so get your myofascial or therapist to do your lats and your chest, your pecs, traps, and this whole region, not just here. Pecs, lats, all that region. Get a gentle massage and stretchy, and you'll find you'll manage this pain a lot nicer.